transcendence, permanent shift in vibration. As a prerequisite to this article, please review my definition of ascension on my website. You cannot be pressured into ascension because it must be a personal choice to raise one's consciousness. Way showers set an example, provide intel, teach, and walk hand in hand, heart to heart, with those dedicated to the shift in consciousness. Sometimes we run ahead so we can tell people what is down the road or what is on the other side of an unopened door. We are all entitled to live out our journeys for as long as the 4D reality is available. We had many tipping points in global consciousness, which assisted the ascension of Gaia and many higher selves in December 2012. When the consciousness on this planet reaches a 5D tipping point through frequency acceleration, cosmic alignments, photonic bombardment, and the light-infused consciousness of humanity, 4D will no longer be sustainable. That may be a few years or a hundred years. My focus as an ascension guide is on the people desiring the most expansive experience possible. Let us remember that a good portion of the population will experience awakening for the very first time this year, either by external or internal factors. They will not be robbed of their ascension experience, but it is clear that it will be very different from those who awakened earlier. Transcendence is a permanent shift in your state of consciousness. In my Ascension course, I describe transcendence as beginning in 2015, and the higher realms say that we are still on schedule for that. Some have called it the soul harvest, which can sound a bit frightening. Some call it the first waves of Ascension. However, the wave terminology, first wave, second wave, have been strongly associated with Dolores Cannon's work and refer to how light servers incarnated over the past hundred years. I am referring to the first waves of complete transcendence, a complete embodiment of your higher self. For clarity's sake, I will refer to transcendence as transcendence rather than waves. Both terms simply refer to the availability of a perfect alignment for those ready, willing, and able to make a permanent shift in frequency. Transcendent dematerialization means mastery of the physical vessel and your journey, embodiment of the solar cosmic Christed state, either by walking in and out of this realm for a while, or a complete transition to a higher state of consciousness in one instant. Why transcend? Because you have completed this lower state of beingness, and the 5D, 6D planetary consciousness will be ready for boarding. Preparation. We way show in our communities and tribes as best we can. However, the consistent through line of our journey is the internal work. That doesn't mean burying oneself in a cave to meditate or panicking that you have not done enough. It does mean a consistent pursuit of a higher state of beingness. Integration of lessons, behaviors, and dominion over the activities of the mind, ego, and emotions. We prepare the heart, body, and mind for a major upgrade in vibration. We establish an active awareness of the 5D, 6D realm of Gaia. Active awareness means your thoughts and feelings align with the 5D state consistently. Removing your own veils allows you to experience that realm, and it can be beautiful and overwhelming to your systems. Little by little, we progress to a state of alignment with that higher realm of consciousness. Personal choice as always. We exist in a free will universe. It has always been this way. For me personally, transcendence is the goal of my ascension process, a conscious choice. It requires aligning everything in your life stream to complement the higher state of consciousness working through the lessons, the contracts, the agreements, releasing, 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 infusing the body vehicle with the highest vibration possible, 
really taking care of the body because it is your vehicle for the experience. Learning unconditional love, learning light intelligence, being of pure service to all of creation, and then when the frequency and the cosmic timing is right, we get to move on. Dissolving the physical. Turning a carbon-based structure into a carbon-silica structure takes dedication. I do feel that the people who will experience this already know that they are going to accomplish this and are consciously aligning with it. Many feel they are stepping out of the collective reality already. This is because your crystalline structures are activating, your DNA is activating to bring in and hold more of the new light which is coming onto the planet. The more aligned you are with the 5D, 6D dynamics, and the less attached to the 4D reality you become, the more you will sense your own ascension process speeding up. It is always your choice to align, always, moment by moment, intention by intention. The solar heart spark is there as source incarnate. The source point amplifies with the support of cosmic timing, individual choices, and the dissolvement of illusion through conscious practice moment to moment. Every situation, every encounter, every thought, action, deed is an opportunity for alignment. It always has been. That was the point of this reality. We are presented with opportunities to align with source via your soul's path. When the soul reaches a tipping point in its progress due to the conscious connection of lower self and higher self, it is released to the higher path, to the benefit of all concerned. The merge happens in the sun. When I received the message last autumn, the merge happens in the sun, I felt a deep calm and readiness. This merge of higher and lower self won't occur in the way we step in, using the sun as a prism to fractalize ourselves into higher and lower states. Rather, we are activating the solar cosmic Christed heart center and merging a trinity of spirit, soul, and form, higher self, lower self, and soul aspect within our life stream. The planetary ascension now supports a union of these aspects via the heart center rather than the spirit leaving the body and transitioning through the sun. The merge happens via the solar heart center, which makes becoming pure conduits of source light intelligence an important part of our journey. Ignore the mind's linear limitations of how this works. Surrendering to the amplification is key. Use what assists your journey and let everything else go especially in the first half of the year when all of this is shifting, purging, coming to align with the new light, planetary detoxification. Tap into your heart with this message. Steps presenting to transcendence. Achieve the solar cosmic Christed state through participating in your own expansion. Experience the birth of the sun within, the full activation and awareness of source within the heart center. Clear all contracts, agreements, emotional baggage, karma, systems, programs, and habitual behaviors associated with 4D. Clear the body vehicle of lower level toxins to increase crystalline cell growth. Align with 5D, 6D Gaia dynamics pure mastery in service to light. We transmute the illusion completely in order to transcend it. 5D 60 Gaia 5D 60 Gaia is very different from what we experience here. All activities are based in an unconditional respect for all life, a deep honoring of all that is and behavior and creation which is in alignment with that. In order to exist in a reality of unwavering love, honor, and compassion, you must create that in the here and now. Everything you do, say, eat, drink, think, and feel must be in alignment with 5D principles in order to transcend the 4D experience. You must be a vibrational match for a higher realm of beingness. 
No one is disrespecting the planet, kingdoms, elementals, or each other in 5D. Of course, there are differences of perspective. Those lessons and creative explorations continue. The whole galaxy is consistently ascending, and it seems no one is untouched by the shift. In order to leave the 3D, 4D reality, you must build your 5D reality right here, right now. Energize it with your actions, words, thoughts, behavior. When aligned with the vibration of 5D operating systems, you master this reality and graduate to a higher level. Pure Creator Dynamics via Self-Empowerment This is a valuable lesson earned at any level of the process. You must find the source within to generate pure source without. Show me the light. Demonstrate that states of divine love, grace, integrity, peace, joy, abundance, and unity are possible. It will get more difficult as we encounter these new light waves. This is the mastery challenge. Every one of these waves acts as an amplifier. I'm referring to waves of the new light. They are here to reveal everything under the mask, and we all get our masks removed. Sometimes we lift them ourselves, sometimes the mask is snatched off and everyone else sees what we have going on under there. Stay ahead of the game by utilizing transparency. It is okay to be vulnerable, wrong, emotional. We all need to unite in this massive healing awakening right now. Support the process by being authentic and try not to lash out when it becomes hard for you. Respect everyone's journey and walk away when you have to. Currently, I am on a two-week fast to prepare myself for upcoming service work. The crystals for the teleportation project have presented and are on their way to me. I intend to spend more time within and working alone with Shasta to deepen my skills and integrate the series of energetic shifts that are happening for me right now. Blessings to all of us during this powerful time. Mm -hmm.